she is a whore. I will have your tongue for that. Oh, damn! Jeez. All right, you look like you enjoyed that too much, Amen. Like. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back with House of the Dragon, and we got Season 1, Episode 8, The Lord of the Tides, six years later. With the Driftmark succession suddenly critical, Renera attempts to strike a bargain with Rhaenys. Appreciate that, future me. We actually got it this time. Hopefully, future me said it. But, uh, actually, I'm recording this, like, the day after this time. And, uh, I'm, and because of that reason, not because of that reason, but that reason is because of why I'm scared right now. Why am I scared? What are you scared about? I just took I just took drugs, man. I don't like drugs. I'm afraid of drugs. You know what I'm saying? And why why are you taking drugs? Well, uh, if you see my community tab uh post, the last one, then uh you know that I abstained of a work injury and uh yeah. I lost a lot of blood, man. I lost a lot of blood. It just seemed like there's there's some incompetence there, bro. Like, babe, you pull off the bandage that 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 my manager put, and then you, and then you talking about some, talking about some. Uh oh, whoops! You don't want to hear that, bro. That's not what I want to hear. Then you put a little thing on, and you like keep getting it, like, bro. Oh, almost, almost, almost struck her. Like, bro. Oh, just thinking about I can't think about it, bro. When I think about it, I'm just going to be back in that moment. It's going to hurt all over again. But uh, I'm ready to jump into this. But before you do, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. And let's get it. Hopefully this one, you know, doesn't get it blocked. Last episode got blocked like four times, dude. And not even by the 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 behind the scenes that I thought was going to get blocked. Because I left all of that in. Fell overboard into the sea. The wound was severe. Much blood was lost, but the greatest concern is <sighs> kind of like me. The sea snake is strong, no doubt. And yet I have seen blood fever overcome men half his age. Mm. Split mark is mine by all rights, and while I should like your support, I do not need it. You're talking crazy. Yeah, we saw Otto in that that next time on. Oh, never mind. Well, I mean, still, imagine, imagine, imagine orchestrating a civil war like you didn't even know you were gonna get Vagar on your side, dude. So I've been hearing, I've been hearing that that uh, Viserys. I don't know. Damn, did I cut that out? I don't. Uh, I've been hearing Viserys had had got a different maester, and like that's the reason that he's still alive after the fucking ten year time skip. I don't know. I I had a theory. I don't remember if I cut it out or not. That um. That I feel like his 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 maesters are you know sabotaging it. Who is this? That's how y'all shits form. Oh damn! Of course. So I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that you and Renera have a child, or perhaps several. Master Kesimadas, Sir Masters, and Drif Makot, Abrasma Bela. Is that the one that you was ignoring? No cap, when she first walked in, I thought it was the younger... I thought it was Millie for a second. Aegon ordered that the tree should be... killed. Felled. It is a related word. I don't expect you to learn High Valyrian in a day, Jace. A king should honor the traditions of his forebears. Well, unless you're planning to non... depose your own... Exactly, family. like... <laughs> Yeah, still be prepped, but dude, if it goes well, you got a long while, to, a long Come while right. to go. Come. This dude's really named Joffrey. Whatever disagreements we may have had, she's not cruel. Stupid enough to do that. 
disagreement. She believes we had her son killed so that we might marry. Yes. That's what I was saying, bro. And yet she's taken Bear to Ward. Yes. Wait, our uh our Lenar's kids, that feels so weird doing it like this, dude. Are his kids uh um still keeping her last name? It's about Prince. There's been a delicate situation in his apartment. Oh, he on some different shit. I'm already knowing. Which one? Eamon or, or Aegon? Yeah, he about to be look torn the hell up. Is that is those bugs that I'm hearing? Damn. Motherfucker look like a mummy. Father. There's someone we wish to introduce you to. Oh, they got it. Oh, they brought the child. Father. This is Egon. Wow. Egon. And this is Vasara. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh. Oh. You gotta make sure it's straight. I put it on his table and when I turned. I didn't see him. I asked him to stop. You guys. <laughs> wow. Which, which, which. No, you're dead, though. You're really about to die. She can't let you. She's going to be compassionate, but she, she can't let you tell anyone that. You know what happens to girls like that. Yeah, but you're done for. Ooh. Get up. Aegon! Yep, Aegon. Think of the shame on your wife. On me. How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Why? What is it today? Ooh. Let him hold that. You are no son of mine. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say all of that, but you saw you saw what that happened with with Taiwan. He looks like a different person. He doesn't even look like a person. It's been so long since we were granted the joy of your presence. Mmm, mmm, bro, that was like, bro, that that, that show, that, that was like a little subtle fire right there. You know what I'm saying? Cause like you get the you get the twofer right there, you know what I'm saying? You get her like kinda like uneasy, like, am I gonna see this bitch again? And then you get the you get the uh the the scar showing the last time they met, bro. That's a slick fire right there. My father and I are missed you, is it the king's will and wisdom? Cap. How exactly is that wisdom expressed? Hmm? In blinks and wheezes. Thank you. I'm surprised if he could remember his own name. Nero, if you would see him without it. Almost blind with suffering. Oh, I have no doubt it was an act of the purest mercy. But tell me, for the king's suffering, did the maesters also prescribe the removal of Targaryen heldry and the installation in its stead of various statues and stars? Mm. Smaller than I remember. It looks exactly the same. Oh, Luke, come on. Hey, if y'all better, if y'all, if y'all about to be sparring, y'all better have it this time. Yo, stare much? Problem. Exactly. Hold on. Am I kind of cool with it? Okay. See, like, it's like from what I've seen, this actor for Amon looks like fucking. He looks older than me, bro. He looks like 30 or something. And then Aegon looks like he's like 20. Honestly, if I was Renera, I'd be I'd be like, listen, I'll let you ascend, but I'm gonna need your support. Cause you already know there's conflicts gonna arise. Set by the queen in the hand I'd wage to proclaim my son illegitimate. Yet you did worse than that with Lenor. Mm. I did not order his death. Nor was I complicit in it, I swear this to you. I don't think anyone take your word anymore. I'll make you an offer. 
There you go. There you go. Hell no. All of my family are gathered at the Red Keep. It's probably the only time you can do it now. I want us to dine together. Look at his back, dude. If I am to grace this fast with some answer, I will start by reminding the court that nearly 20 years ago in this very place. You're gonna be Viserys? King Viserys of House Targaryen. This dude moving like Yoda with it. His name and protector of the realm. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, y'all look shooketh now. I said I'm fine. Damon. Yep. Why are you ripping your stomach? You got another one in the way? She says she's gonna pop the motherfuckers out. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jace and Luke to Lord Corlys's granddaughters, Vela and Rhaena. A proposal to which I heartily agree. Okay. Well, the matter is settled. Like, Aegon looks 20. Who deserves to inherit the name Valari? No. I will not allow it. It's treason, brother. I will not see it ended on the account of this. Say it. Say it. Exactly say it. Oh, damn! Jeez. Well, you can take it from that part. Keep his tongue. All right. You look like you enjoyed that too much, Eamon. Like, well, I guess there goes the Valarians. Like, well, I guess you still got, you still got, uh, Lena and, and um, and, um, Damon's kids. So, <laughs> shit, y'all better survive then. No cap, when he first walked up, I thought that was Leland from RDC World 1. You do not drink enough, Aegon says. It's gonna be some Last Supper type shit. I don't know any, any, I don't... I'm only familiar with, you know, certain things to a certain, you know, level, so... But it's literally gonna be a Last Supper, dude. And to Vaymond Valarian, may the gods give him rest. Don't laugh this time, <laughs> Damon. Chill. You know how the act is done. I assume. Hey, guy, yo, watch out, man. Do you know how it's done consensually? Me, cousin. You can play the gesture if you wish. Ooh. He about to be on some Harvey Dent. Damn. It's worse. Good lord. You look like you should be joining the Night King. You will make a fine queen. <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right. This is too, like, much of a, like, happy moment. They gonna know he won another one. Wow, he's moving mad. He's moving mad. You just gonna leave you just gonna leave him to dance with your girl then. Look, he about to turn his eyes over just like these. Sorry, I didn't know it was gonna cut to you, Amon. My bad. I guess Viserys took one for the team. He's the one who lost the eye instead. You're about to pass out, dude. It's gonna be like the last thing you get to see.
And this shit kinda sad. Like a bittersweet sad. It's enough to make a grown man cry. But not this man. Get back in there, Tia. Wow. Strong. Amen. Come. Wow. <laughs> He's shady for that. Let us drain our cups. <laughs> He's shady for that. Three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Wow. Why? It was only a compliment. Do you not think yourself strong? Oh. Damn. This is why it was not going to last long. Let me see the children. Turn on Dragonback. The king and I would both like that. <clears throat> I don't think y'all about to make it back. Not y'all about to die, but it's gonna be something that happens, dude. Oh shit, what episode is this? Okay, we still have episode eight. That's another thing, dude! Bro, if y'all seen my Game of Thrones reactions, right? How I said, uh, y'all, when it came to the Red Wedding, I was like, bro, like, is y'all, like, projecting y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, how episode 9 is some shit pop off? I literally, that day, I went in, I was like, should I call out? I was like, nah, those days should be long gone. And then this, the day was terrible before, but then this happens, it's the fucking cherry on top, like... Rip Vis Viserys, dude. I know I say it like every episode, but is there some shit moving? What is that? I oh, don't you remember? Aegon. Our son. His dream. The Song of Ice. Oh the shit. The Prince. Prince Aegon. Ignite the realm against the cold. It's not dark. You fumbled on your way out, bro. It is you. You are the one. You must do this. Wow. You fumbled on your way out, bro. And this is where the difficulty lies with. Rename me up. Yeah, she understands the wrong thing. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, you're done. You're for, for real done for, dude. Just silence. Time for that next time on. The king is dead. Exactly. The door remains shut until we finish our business. None can know who you are or what you seek. What if we I found out something you should know. Mm. This is seizure. It is treason at the least. It's starting now, bit. Who the f Who's that chasing Aegon? This is seizure! It is treason at the least! Okay, I, I don't know who that was. Yeah, it's going down next episode. The episode six time jump was to introduce Allison and Rhaenyra's children as young adults, and then this time jump was to make those young adults adults. So it was important to age them up again and recast again to get them up to the appropriate age. So they're all in the 17 to 21 age range across the span of both families. Nephews? <laughs> Like, Amon looked like 
You know what I'm saying? He about a little bit younger than da Damon. Alison's outburst. Alison has found religion as a way to redeem herself. We know that Alison holds closely to the new religion of the Seven Gods, which is not something the Targaryens do. It's part of what sets her apart from the house that she married into. In the scene where Rhaenyra and Damon return to King's Landing for the first time, they see a difference. And there were no words that were going to describe the difference. There was nothing in particular that they would point out to us. We figured out how to make it read immediately. The big thing is a giant seven-pointed star that's hanging in the main hallway. Gaudy, if you ask me. I would say it's nice to be home, but I scarcely recognize it. It's become a much more quiet and conservative place. It's much more like a monastery now than it was. When we first saw it in episode one, it's full of light and life, and there's Targaryen erotica on the walls, dragon erotica, and now it's all been replaced with objects of the Seven, and the murals have been covered up. Eight is essentially set in a hospice. The whole episode is essentially sitting by the bedside of a loved one who's dying. Father? <sighs> The dramatic tension of this episode does not happen until Viserys shows up in that throne room, because the thinking when Rhaenyra is standing there is it's a farce. Corlys has been potentially fatally wounded. Nobody knows whether or not he's going to survive, so there's now a question mark about who's going to take on the Driftmark throne. It's within Alicent's motivation to want Lucerys to be deposed because it disempowers Rhaenyra's side of the family, and he's a bastard anyway, so what is he even doing there? And to give Vaemon power, because if Vaemon takes power, then he owes the Greens, and the Valerian fleet will all go with them. I do not understand why petitions are being heard over a settled succession. Vaemon, one of those guys who's not particularly likable, but he always tells the truth, and he can't help it, and he can't stop himself. For that reason, he's never really got very far in life. And yet, suddenly, in episode eight, he finds himself possibly in line to inherit the Driftmark throne. He also walks right into the midst of the contentious issue of Rhaenyra's children and their real father. Because he's a kind of a do-right guy and wants to always tell the truth, he misses just how strongly and heavily everybody feels about this. He knows that those children are not Valarian. You said you pregnant. it. They're white. It ain't ma. They got brown hair. Very obvious. And everyone knows it. It's the pink elephant in the corner that nobody wants to talk about. But Vayman is the one person who will talk about it and who will speak out. See, listen, I'm, a, I'm all for my, you know what I'm saying, all for my people. But, like, that was, that was that's, that's one thing that, like... That when you change it this way, it's like obvious. Like, bro, you cannot not see it, bro. They obviously, they obviously didn't come from from Lenar. Now it feels like, it feels like, Bela and, and if she had and, and, and let's uh, who I don't remember who she was betrothed to, but let's say they had a kid, and then their kid came out and looked like that. Okay, like I guess. You may run your house as you see fit, but you will not decide the future of mine. This is something he's been holding on to for like 16 years. And when the petition goes completely sideways for him, he knows he's going to fall on his sword. But I'm going to fall on my sword. With style. My way. Exactly. And my way is to tell the absolute truth. So even if nothing is done about it, everybody in this room will know our children bastards Vaymond becomes actually kind of a sympathetic character in that moment he goes out with a bit of honor i have to say this he did it from behind didn't wow. come in me face did he nah mate couldn't do that <laughs> he can keep his tongue Viserys, after the petitions, demands that there's a family dinner and that we all sit and eat together. It's the Last Supper. It's Viserys' last stand. It's the father and daughter's story finding some sort of resolution and closure. 
unexpectedly, there's a brief moment of, oh, maybe things are going to be okay. Hell nah. Like, I was like, oh, this is a sweet moment, but I already knew it was not going to last. Together. One of the issues with his leadership through the series is a refusal to step up and intervene, to speak with clarity and to lay down the law and to stand by choices that he makes. For the first time, certainly in Rhaenyra's life, she really watches him do it. He stands by the family, both sides of the family, in this final dinner. It's like all this corruption and all this fighting. This is what it does. This is what being a king does. This is the effect of all of this on me. Why can't we just love each other? It sounds really naff, but it's like, why, why, why can't we just love each other? Why can't we just make this work? Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. The crown cannot stand strong. The house of the dragon remains divided. Jeez. Set aside your grievances. Forget me as your king. Just love me as the man that I am to you and your family. If not for the sake of the crown, and for the sake of this old man. Rhaenyra and Allison have always been trying to pull themselves back from the precipice. The idea is that they never really wanted to get into this rivalry together, but they were driven there by the patriarchy, by the men in their lives. And they have a real friendship and relationship and a real love for one another that might have gotten cold and stale over the years, but it did exist. And then as soon as Viserys leaves the room, the young kids who don't appreciate the history that has gone into this and what's at stake, kick it off again. His only purpose is to try. Like, listen. Viserys and, 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 and what is it? Lu Lu Lucerys? No, Lucerys. Yeah, Lucerys and Viserys. Jeez, bro. What are these names? Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, y'all, y'all should have just, y'all should have just bit y'all tongue there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should have just, like, bro, he hit you with, he didn't, he hit you with something, like, subtle, and, like, people are gonna make faces, but what are faces, bro? I was right, before he dies, which he feels like he does, until he doesn't. This is a guy who was unwilling to make enemies of one side to do what was right. So a lot of things in his life went unsaid because he was trying to always tamp down aggression. Damn, man, I ain't even noticed I had to cut up my shit. What the fuck? Stuff. And it leads to this final moment where his final message is unclear. He's very ill. He was in a lot of pain. They put him on medication. And he wakes up in that middle of the night trying to have this unfinished conversation that he had with Rhaenyra not realizing that the woman sitting at his side is not Rhaenyra, but Alicent. So he speaks to her as if she's Rhaenyra, and Alicent picks out words like Aegon and Prince, who is promised, and prophecy, and, and whatever, and doesn't understand all the context going back into it because she never heard the Song of Ice and Fire because she was never his heir. Don't take milk of the poppy and then impart really important information just before you die. That's the learning curve on that one. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know about that one, man. Right? End, but it goes to the idea that this prophecy is a bit of gossamer sliding through your fingers and it's hard to grasp all at once. And also his lack of dealing with the issues at hand at his court that he was responsible for during his life. I don't think he ever wanted to be king. It's a burden. He's just doing a duty. He was too human to be king. It was genuinely touching watching Paddy die multiple times from multiple different angles. Bro, what? When he takes his last breath, he maybe feels like he's done all he can and he's put his house right. He did his best. He kept this secret belief in the prophecy and kept that with him until the day he died. And that's all he could do. In some respects, he wasn't the right man for the job. But in history, he, he kind of was the right man for the job, you know, 200 years later. So he does have a legacy. Damn, son. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for this one, man. Yeah, this one was crazy. It's going to pop off ne next episode, bro. And all the, we did, I don't even think we really seen Rhaenyra in the next time on, man. And hopefully this goes up, you know, when it's supposed to go up. And hopefully I don't have to, you know, have it be blocked.
multiple times. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If you like the video, make sure you drop like, subscribe, share with your friends. Stay tuned for the next one. It's been Rocking My World's Coolest Nerd, and I'm out. Peace.